Hello everyone and welcome back to another Shock Films Tips and Tricks videos. I'm Caleb Shockley and it has been a while. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while, a tutorial or a Tips and Tricks videos. So uh, here I am back again to uh, teach you guys some new knowledge in After Effects. And for, I just want to say right now that I have a an effect that I want to try out uh, that I'll probably be doing a tutorial over. A hint uh, would be if you watch, uh, if you've ever seen the Smallville TV series, uh, Kryptonite. Kryptonite is the... Uh, is kind of insight into what this effect uh, for the tutorial might be about so yeah and if you if you think that you know leave uh, put that in the comments and you know I may or may not get back to you on that but anyways let's focus on what I'm doing now and today I'm gonna be going over a few things that I learned uh, messing around with video copilots new saber after Effects preset. Now, uh, if you don't know uh, who Video Co Copilot is, then uh, you're you're pretty dumb. <laughs> I'm just just kidding. But if you do any sort of visual effects in After Effects, you definitely need to go check them out. Uh, there's a link in the description of this video to uh, Video Copilot, and there will be a link to this preset that he created. Uh, which is free so you can download it for free install it for free it's all free and it's really great but I'm gonna be going over uh, some of the things that you just saw in the uh, intro video here um, there were four four different uh, things that I used this preset for in the video but I'm gonna be going over two specific ones um, which would be the first one and the third one I believe so I'm a I'm gonna play those for you right here so you can see which ones I'm referring to. That one and this one. So this one, this is just kind of a cool effect that I thought because you know it's just fiery, you know, fiery words, and it's just a really cool thing that you could probably do quite a bit with. And this one, this would be cool for and in for like an intro video you know showing off your logo or your name or something or just revealing anything for that matter is just something that you could do a lot a lot with so I'm gonna show you how to make this and the other effect neither are very hard they're pretty simple effects to uh, to tackle so uh, let's do that so right now I'm gonna create a brand new composition and I'm just gonna you can call this you know whatever you're gonna call it you know I'm gonna call it you know ducks uh, because I can uh, so yeah so what you're gonna need to start out with is a solid now if I'm just doing a solid for something I just go with the uh, the black because I don't have to really worry about color or anything I guess but I'm um, assuming you can do any color solid, but I'm just going to go with the black for now. So after you have finished installing this preset, there will be a video copilot thing here in your effects and presets panel. So you'll do drop down and there's your saber. You just drop that right on and you get started and you start out with this, well, saber here. You know, it looks like a lightsaber, which is another thing that you can use this preset for. Um, I'm actually in the uh, in the description where you can where you'll find the download for this. Andrew Kramer, who is the guy who does video copilot, will go into some depth on this uh, this preset. He'll go over things that I won't go over, uh, but I'm going over some things that he didn't mention uh, in the video that you can do with this preset. So this is all new stuff. So I'm not you know just like recreating his video this is completely new stuff so you can learn from this and his video but okay uh, let's get into how to create the uh, circle so to make the circle what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here and you're gonna click ellipse tool and you're just gonna create a mask just like just like that 
just a circle mask and it doesn't you can see that it doesn't do anything yet what you're gonna do what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here you're gonna go to customize core drop that down and right here it's on saber with no that's the core type uh, it's on saber right now and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go click layer masks and as you can see now it's a circle so it's like a circle lightsaber and so for up here in the presets you have all these different types that you can select and they're all different and they're all really cool and the one that I was using in the video was pulse uh, that was the uh, I believe that that was the preset that I used and I had it on this kind of purple color and you can change it to any color that you want and there's so many different things that you can do with this preset there's so many different settings so many different ways to customize it uh, you know you can customize the core size uh, you know glow you can do all this stuff but anyways uh, let's uh, I'm gonna show you how you can make it so that it does this circle around because without that uh, you won't have the effect you won't be able to create that effect until you have first done this step basically so what you're gonna do in customized court you're still in customized court you're gonna have click on here and you're going to go start size and just turn that all the way down to zero yeah no sorry about that actually Start size is going to stay the same. Well, you can make it smaller if you want, uh, but that's actually not what you want to do. What you're going to do is you're going to go to start offset. It's currently at zero. Turn it up to 100. And as you can see, there is no circle anymore because the start and end points are both right here. So you can't see them. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the keyframe for start size. Go for it as far as you want. I'm going to go. Uh, about two seconds in and whoops I did start size again I always get I don't know how I'm getting this confused start offset that's where I need to be that's where you need to be too I'm gonna go to about two seconds and I'm gonna turn that back down to 100 I mean back down to zero and now the circles back if I play that through as you can see the circle goes all the way around the start point goes from here all the way back around so that you have a full circle now uh, in the video uh, from originally as you can see uh, after the start point went all the way around the end point soon followed after so that you're gonna do the exact same thing for that so I went to maybe when it was about halfway around and then I went in offset then I went to, you know, I found the point that the start went back to where it was originally, went a few frames forward, and set the end offset all the way to zero. I'm going to let that render out, and I'll play it for you. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, that's how you can make it do this circle around now you can mess with the settings and the speed and all that but you're gonna have to make sure that as it's moving it's uh, the two points are you know far enough apart so that you'll actually get a reveal of the logo uh, you'll get enough of it so that you're able to see it because if you make them too close to e too close to each other uh, you won't get much of a reveal and it'll the effect will just kind of it'll just kind of die out you know, it won't do much for you so that's how you can get the uh, the circle to go around so now how to make it so that something on the inside will be revealed as it moves around now this part isn't too hard uh, you can just put just put something in the middle uh, you know some text you know uh, for me it was my logo I put it in there uh, right now, I'm just gonna create some text. I'm just gonna, you know, you know, let's just go with uh, reveal. You know, right there. You know, 
Let's scale it down a bit. Um, it changes, you know, changes to white. You know, simple color. Put it in the middle. Okay. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to put it underneath the black solid layer. Uh, set this to screen so you can see it and oh right it's just there other steps don't end right there because that will do nothing for you absolutely nothing what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take the circle the, the layer with the saber preset applied to it you're going to duplicate it so that there's two and you're going to take this, go to uh, Track Mat, Luma Mat, Black Solid 2. It's gone, right? Now I'm going to let this render out. And there you go. You have a circle going around something, revealing that it's there. It's literally that simple. Okay? Now you can mess around with these settings. Uh, you can go into this. If you're gonna mess with settings so that your uh, when you reveal it, it looks different. You're gonna have to do the one that it's that your text layer or whatever is in there is track matted to, because otherwise it will it won't do anything. So like you can come in here and you can you know uh, change the glow intensity, you know, so that you will see it more. Uh, you know, glow spread. You know, you can just mess around with all these settings to just you know you can go to your preference, just just whatever uh, whatever you feel like can happen, and you can really do this with anything. You know, you can make a uh, a square mask. You know, it was just follow these steps, and it'll it should do the same thing. I don't know why. You know, something else would happen. I mean, maybe it will, but maybe not. Probably not, but don't quote me on that. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna talk about the uh, the heat layer. Uh, I'm not gonna actually create an entirely new composition, you know, because that's it's a lot of work, uh, and I don't really have a lot of time for that. But basically, uh, once you're in the settings, uh, uh, you're gonna go to uh, custom core and you're gonna create a text layer now again you can do this with anything uh, you can do a you know, text layer or layer mask but either way you're gonna have to make sure that the core type is set to that otherwise it won't do anything now uh, now you're gonna do again you're gonna do keyframes with the start offset and Andrew Kramer will he will explain that uh, kind of how it works with text um, in his tutorial, so if you want to learn that, you can go go check that out. Uh, and I would suggest watching that before you watch this. Just saying, do that first. Like if you haven't, go now. Okay, we're back. Okay, so here we are. We have the layer. I uh, got a text layer, and the preset it is fire. It's kind of self-explanatory, you know. Uh, you know just and again just adjust all the settings to what you want and but what makes the uh, the difference in this is you're gonna go to uh, glow distortion and you're gonna have distortion type on energy composite multiply and core distortion is also gonna be on energy that will make the difference because uh, I have this other heat layer here it's the exact same but I have different settings. As you can see in glow distortion, I have uh, the composite distortion. That makes a difference. It really does. So if you want this, if you want it to look like this, uh, just follow those settings. And again, like I said, go check out the video so you can learn, you know, the basics of this preset. And once you download it, just mess around with it, you know, because you can do a lot with this preset there's so much and you know this lay this thing you know it's explained in in the uh, how in the uh, video copilot uh, tutorial over this 
you know but this was the main thing that I wanted to focus on because you know it's kind of a cool effect you know you can reveal something you know just do whatever just do whatever you want but that is the end of this tips and tricks video thank you for watching uh, please subscribe and also go follow me on all the social medias but not all of them go follow me on Instagram shot films official go like my Facebook page shot films you know uh, some great stuff going on over there I've got some sort of be posted behind the scenes stuff I uh, have VFX videos you know stuff that I've made tutorials on uh, the videos that those tutorials are based on so just hey, go check them out uh, and tell your friends man if you know someone who likes to watch videos or learn visual effects say hey I know this channel helps the business it's not business but it helps me because the more people I have watching, the more reason I have to make these tutorials and stuff. So if you like them, go share me, spread the word, and I will keep making this, you know? As long as people, you know, are liking them and stuff, I'll keep making them. So again, that is all, and thank you for watching. I really hope that you learned something here. Hope that you were able to get a great new preset because it's awesome. So hope that hope that you're able to use that for something later on down the road or maybe now maybe you need it for something and this is good i hope that this helped again thank you for watching please come back for more videos this is kale chocolate signing off keep on filming everybody